Welcome to my Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi Battle Series. Today we're featuring an icy powerhouse, Black Ice Articuno. This set gives Articuno some serious slaying power and lets it unleash powerful ice type moves and ground type moves to keep opponents on their toes. Articuno is ready to bring the chill and we've got some exciting battles lined up to show you what he can do. If you're excited to see this legendary bird in action, don't forget to like and subscribe for more unique sets and epic battles, and let's get into it. Okay, Chucho has brought a pretty cool looking team with a Sandy, Shock, the Walking Weight, Great Tusk, Leafeon, which is awesome to see, Megaros and a Torkoal. Absolutely amazing stuff. So they probably lead off with Torkoal or Sandy Shocks, I know that for a fact. It's going to be one or the other. Um, I could lead off with Articuna straight away and go for the Terror Ground shenanigans, but... I kind of want to keep the typing around for the Leafeon, but at the same time, the Metagross is there. You know, Articuno does pretty well against this team. Pretty well against this team. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead off with Articuno, straight up. Terror Ground straight away. And then kind of go from there. And the battle begins. Good look at- wow, that hat is crazy. What is going on with that hat? Anyway, they lead off with the Sandy Sharks as I lead off with my Articuno, like I- uh, try to in the first place. So, the first thing that's going to happen here is they're either going to Terra, or they're going to switch into Metagross, or they're going to sell up Stealth Rocks. I think that they don't, I think they stay in. So, I'm going to Terra Blast straight away. Um, I figured, why not? Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. I know I can take an Electric Hit. as Terra Ground, obviously, and if they go for a Stealth Rock, so be it. If they go for a Volt Switch, even better. So let's see how this plays out for us. So Articuno is Terra Ground now. We are immune to electricity. They go for a Vol Switch straight up. Doesn't affect us. Articuno throws them right off course as we go for a Terra Blast, which is going to do a lot of damage to the Sandy Sharks, which is fantastic. Um, doesn't get the KO, obviously, but it does it does the job. So if they assume we're going to go for a Terra Blast again, they may switch out into Leafeon. I think either way, I'm better off going for a Freeze Dry here because we can take an Earth Power, no problem. They withdraw. Are we going to see a Leafeon? Because we've gone for a Earth Power. Takana. That's the Torkoal. Okay, Torkoal comes in, gets the Drought up. That's fine. We go for a Freeze Dry. That's going to do Diddly Squat. But, you know, damage is damage at the end of the day. Now we just go for another Terra Blast. Because even if they bring Leafeon in, we can just switch hard into Zeb Striker. So we've got them on the ropes already, which is absolutely amazing. They withdraw. Are they going to go into Leafeon? If they do, that's good. The Green Tusk. That's going to be the Leafeon, right? No, it's actually the Great Tusk because it's green. Okay, I, I, I think that because of the green, I didn't know whether it was like a, a thing or not. But they're going to get an attack boost, which is unfortunate. Um, as we go for a Terra Blast now, which is definitely going to sting a little bit. Not too much, but it will sting a little bit. Um, as it does a nice chunk of damage to them, telling me they may be Assault Vests. So, what I'm going to do now is, if we assume they're going to go all out attacking here, we should assume they're going to go for a close combat or an uh, ice spinner. Let's go into Cypher. I think Cypher can handle this no problem. And I'm, again, I'm sorry for the voice. I have a bit of a croaky voice because I am a bit ill at the moment, but I'm just, I can't stop making videos because I really like making videos. So, screw this illness. They go for a knockoff, which is going to knock off our heavy duty boots, unfortunately. But we do have to speed them, so we can go safely for a dual wing beat here. Um... I don't see any harming him for Drill Wing Beat. I think it's fine. They do withdraw the Great Tusk. And what are they going to go into here? Probably Metagross, right? I'm Baby. The Metagross comes in. So we go for a Drill Wing Beat on the Metagross. It's a bit of chip at the end of the day. Nothing too fancy. Just a little bit of chip. And we hit two times. They probably go for a Bullet Punch here. And we can definitely switch out. Integrate Tusk if you want to. I don't think they go for a bullet punch. I'm going to go for a U-turn here. Yeah, they don't go for a bullet punch there. We go for a U-turn. I, I think they were trying to bait the knockoff to try and get the uh, weakness policy activated. I think. I think. I'm going to go Great Tusk instead. Great Tusk can take this thing on no problem. Especially if they go for a Meteor Mash here, which they probably will. And we are going to get defense boost from the sun, which is nice. We're going to benefit from their sun. Um, they do go for a Meteor Mash, and it does, in fact, miss, but it wouldn't have done too much damage anyway, which is nice. As now, I'm going to go for a Stealth Rocks. They withdraw the Metagross. I didn't want to go for a knockoff or an Earthquake, because I was worried about them having Weakness Policy still. Um, so they're going to go Inero Minamo, which is going to be the Walking Wake. Now, this thing is a threat. This thing is a threat. It's going to get a special attack boost. We go for a Stealth Rocks. I should have knocked off, really, because if I could have knocked this thing's item off and it was Choice Specs, that'd be amazing. Um, but unfortunately we didn't. 
So now, he got a special attack boost, which means we do outspeed it with some things. Except Striker is one of those things. I say, if we assume they're going to go for a Hydra Steam, we should go Volcanion. So let's go for a Volcanion switch right now. Volcanion can definitely take on this walking weight, no problem. Um, unless they go for a Draco, but if they go for a Draco, it makes it leave them open for something else coming. So there we go, Volcanion comes in, they go for a Hydra Steam. Absolutely fine by me. Now, if we assume they're not booster energy and they are specs, we'll probably see a switch out here. But you know what? I'm just going to go for an Earth Power anyway. They do, in fact, stay in. They take the Earth Power like a champ. They go for a Dragon Pulse, which should 2 it KO us. It does 2 it KO us, which is unfortunate. And there's the harsh sunlight going away. So they lose their Protosynthesis. Now, they're not booster energy. We know that. The Dragon Pulse damage tells me they're not specs. Otherwise, I would have come close to KOing. They might be Assault Vest based on that damage. Let's go for an Earth Power. Let's just go for an Earth Power again. Let's just, just get some damage off on them. Don't need the Volcano to win the game. They go for another Dragon Pulse. It's going to KO us, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Now we can go into Death Striker if we want to, or we can go into Articuno to finish this thing off. Um, we've got a couple of options. A couple of options, really. I'm leaning towards the uh, Zeb Striker. Leaning towards the Zeb Striker. Going to go into Slow King. Because this seems like a good option for me. They don't have a Dark type for a start. So we can go for a Future Sight, no problem. They more than likely switch out here. Into, I'd say, Metagross. Or not Leafeon. Surely not Leafeon. So Hydro Steam comes through. Boom. Does no damage. We go for a Future Sight. That's going to definitely do some damage to it. And then we go for a Paralysis the next turn. We go for a Thunder Wave the next turn. Then we chill Reception and get out of there. They withdraw the Walking Wake. What are we going to paralyze? I'm Baby. That's the Metagross, right? Yeah, Metagross comes in. Makes sense because obviously Future Sight's come in. And we go for a Thunder Wave here. That's going to definitely cripple the Metagross, which is nice. I shouldn't really chill Reception there, but I didn't think they would bring it in yet. I figured they'd wait one more turn. But you know what? This works out anyway. Um, we can take a knockoff. I know we can, but I don't want to. So I'm going to go into uh, Great Tusk. I think Great Tusk is a fine switch here. We go for a knockoff. Get rid of something's item if they do switch out, but I don't think they do. They might do, actually. They might preserve the Metagross if it's got Bullet Punch. Meteor Mash comes through, though. That's going to do with no damage. But it does boost their attack, which makes them a bit scarier. There's the Future Side attack. It does no damage, obviously. Um, and now I'm thinking we go for an Earthquake or a knockoff. But I'm looking at the team and I'm thinking Earthquake's probably the better option. So I'm going to go straight for an Earthquake. They do Terrestrialize. What type are they going to Terrestrialize into? What type? What type are they Terrestrializing into? Ground. Okay. So at least if they are Weakness Policy, they're not going to get a Weakness Policy boost from this Earthquake if it didn't KO. So we go for an Earthquake. Let's see how much damage it does to the Megros. Nearly gets the job done as they go for a Psychic Fangs, which nearly gets the job done as well. Great Tusk versus Metagross is kind of heat right now. Kind of heat right now. If that's the right use of that word, I don't know. Um, We may as well KO them with a Rapid Spin, so we got a bit more of a defensive boost. But they actually have Bullet Punch as well, which is going to KO my Great Tusk. So Great Tusk goes down. Great Tusk goes down. And um, now we're in a much better position with Articuno or anything really. I think Articuno is the way to go forward. We still haven't KO'd a Pokemon from that team. So we'll go with Articuno. Articuno can definitely freeze dry this thing in the face. So, but they might switch into Torkoal. So I'm going to go for a Terra Blast here. They withdraw the Metagross, which is absolutely fine. Are we going to see a Torkoal switch? The Heavers. That's the Sandy Shocks. So the Sandy Shocks comes in. We're going to claim a soul with the uh, Articuno, which is nice. We get our first KO against the team, which is the Articuno. Boom. Down goes the Sandy Shocks, which is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Green Tusk comes in. That's going to be the Great Tusk once again. They're going to get a um, some Stealth Rock digging into them for a start. We have to hit a Hurricane to KO here. I'm going for it. I'm going for the Hurricane. We hit the Hurricane. Yes! We KO the Great Tusk with a Hurricane, which is fantastic. Articuno coming through for me right now. 
They obviously didn't think that we would either hit the hurricane or even go for a hurricane. Now they bring in Takana, which is going to be the Torkoal. Yep, Torkoal comes in. Get some Stealth Rock chip. The sun is going to go up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to over predict and go for a freeze dry. I really think they'll switch out here. I don't think, I think they'll preserve, I think Torkoal can't do much to us anyway. So let's go for a freeze dry predicting the switch. It didn't work, but you know what? It's not the end of the world because they're not going to be able to do too much damage to us anyway. As they go for a weather ball, this is going to sting a little bit actually. He does over half. So now, I guess Terra Blast, we don't lose much from Terra Blasting. Let's go for a Terra Blast. I really thought they were switching to Leafeon or Walking Wake there. But it's fine. It's not, not happening, so it's not fine. It's, not, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Torkoal goes down. We get three KOs with uh, Articuno, which is amazing. Terragon comes in. That's going to be the Leafeon, right? Yeah, Leafeon comes in. Stealth Rocks dig in. We can still use Articuno. So I'm going to go ahead and switch straight into Zeb Striker because it has got the um, Sap Zipper. Which means it's immune to the uh, Solar Blade, which is potentially coming our way. So let's go Zeb Striker nice and shiny. They go for a Swords Dance. Ah, okay. They know that was Sap Zipper, by the way, they brought that in then. They already know. They also have Leftovers, which is good to know. But they also have Chlorophyll, which makes them very fast right now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to smack him in the face with a Supercell Slam, and hope they go for a Solar Blade. Body Slam, interesting. So Body Slam comes through. At plus two, that's taken us out. So Zeb Striker goes down. Zeb Striker goes down. They're at plus two attack with um, double speed. This is not good. It's not good. Leafeon might actually win this. That's so annoying because Articuno did so well in this game. So annoying because Articuno did so well. Um, unless we Thunder Wave. Thunder Waving could help. Let's go for a Thunder Wave. They go for an Exes and they don't have Knock Off, which is nice. We go for a Thunder Wave, put a stop to that Leafeon's tracks. Which is great. Absolutely fantastic, in fact. Um, but the problem is, the problem is, we need Sloking a bit more healthier. I think we need to sack off Cypher. Or Articuno. now. Because we need to get that Paralysis on. No, we need Articuno. now. We need to sack off Cypher. We sack off Cypher here. We get the Regenerator back on Sloking so they can stand up to the Walking Wake. That's the way we've got to do this. The way we gotta do it, the way it's gotta go. Unfortunately, it's the way it's gotta go. They go for a body slam, that's gonna sting quite a bit. It's gonna take out my siphon, no problems. As down it goes. And now we have to hope and pray that we can outspeed with Articuno here with their paralysis. I have a feeling that we don't. I could be wrong. I don't think we do though. So let's go into Articuno now. Nice and shiny. And what we can do is, we could go into Sloking now. We could go into Sloking now and go for a Chili. Get rid of the Sun. Because they're going to go for a Leaf Blade, right? But how much is Leaf Blade doing? How much is it worth? Now, I, I should if I was going to do that, I should have switched Sloking in then. We're going to have to go for a Freeze Dry. We do have speed! I didn't want to risk the hurricane. It doesn't KO. But they couldn't move because they were paralyzed. Oh, this is a wild roller coaster ride. This is a wild roller coaster ride right now. That is a wild roller coaster ride right there. Let's go for another freeze drive because we do have speed, of course. And now I'm not as worried. Freeze drive comes through. That Leafeon is down for the count. Down for the count. There we go. Leafeon goes down. Amazing stuff. The Hax is real. And the sunlight just faded as well, which is fantastic for us. Unero Minamo comes in. That's the walking wake. It gets some Stealth Rock chip. We just go into Sloking and paralyze this thing, and then Articuno can finish the game off. Oh, I really thought we lost against that Leafeon, but that Para Hacks came in clutch. Came in clutch. 
absolutely came in clutch. They go for a Hydro Steam, no Sun though. So it's not going to do too much damage. Now, we go for a Thunder Wave here. That's what we have to do. We go for a Thunder Wave here. They go for another Dragon Pulse, which is great. As long as we don't miss the Thunder Wave, we should be fine. Thunder Wave comes through. Boom, and now Articuno outspeeds in case of um, Freeze Dry, which is fantastic. So I'm going to go for a Chili just in case they don't uh, KO us here, which they, I think they do. Dragon Pulse should KO. It does, yep. So Slowking goes down. It's all down to Articuno now. They've already terrored because that's the Metagross. Articuno is winning this game. The final comeback of Articuno. This is amazing. The pressure is exerted. We just hit freeze dry. There's no, no point overthinking it. Freeze dry comes through. Boom. Down goes the walking wake. Awesome stuff. Oh, this is come this is come around big time. I was like, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a great bonus battle. No, this is gonna be a main battle. Alright, baby comes in. Boom. Stealth frogs dig in. And that is going to be the game. So GG Juju, that was a really fun one. The hacks was real in that one. Like that power hacks really came in clutch for me there. I'm so happy about that. But I'm not happy at the same time. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, GG. Okay, Cody's brought a pretty cool team with Gramble, Hisui, and Gudra, Frostmoth, Slowking, Dreadnought, which is awesome, and Deoxys Speed. So very slow team other than the Deoxys. That's for sure. So Cypher looks like it'll have some fun here, which would be great. Um, I don't see a ground type. They probably lead off with like Deoxys or something. What's my lead? What's that my potential lead? They, they might expect Cypher lead, so they might lead with Deoxys to outspeed and go for Ice Beam. I might lead with Cypher anyway, just to go for a nice U-turn. And then just kind of go from there. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Cody. So they're going to lead off with Deoxys as expected. Nice and shiny as well. Got to love it. And uh, we lead off with Cypher. And um, this is not a bad lead for us, I guess. They could Ice Beam us into Oblivion if the choice specs, especially. Um, so knowing they could go for an Ice Beam or a Psychic move, we should definitely go into Sloking here. Just to kind of wall it to an extent. They might get the Stealth Rocks up though, which would be unfortunate if they did. Although my main Stealth Rock weak Pokemon are, you know, Heavy G Boots. So it's not the end of the world if they do get them up. So they go for a Reflect. Interesting, interesting. So... If I can cripple this thing now with a Thunder Wave, we'll actually be all right. So let's go for a Thunder Wave now. They withdraw. Something's getting paralyzed though. What is it going to be? Is it going to be Dreadnought? Slowking. Another Slowking. So Slowking versus Slowking, which is awesome. Theirs is nice and shiny too. Gotta love it. We go for a Thunder Wave. I just wanted to get the cripple on that Deoxys speed, but they got the uh, Reflector, right? So not the end of the world. Um, we just go for a... Yeah, they have no dark types. We can go for a future site. Let's go for a future site real quick. There we go. Future site comes through. They may also do the same thing. They actually don't. They go for a chilly bad joke. So let's see what they go into. Oh, they couldn't move because they were paralyzed. Great. So they couldn't tell the chilly bad joke, which is kind of awesome. They got stage fright. So now let's go for a chilly reception of our own. We go for a chilly bad joke. There we go. Chilly reception comes through. Boom. Now, now, this is the thing. Other than Dreadnought, Sloking walls their team pretty well. Other than the Dreadnought. Um, so what can we do here? I'm leaning towards Zeb Striker because it does do it does, does alright as well. I think I will go Zeb Striker. So we're going to Wild over here. There we go. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. They couldn't move because they were paralyzed. That is two paralysis in a row for Cody. That is really unfortunate. So um, let me just check. They did actually get. Reflect, didn't they? Yeah, reflect. So now, let's go for a Supercell Slam. They do withdraw. They hard switch because they've realized they're going to get paralyzed again, probably. And they're going to go to Gramble, which is fine. Gramble's going to take this like a champ. It's going to get the Intimidate off, no doubt. Uh, and then we reflect up as well. It's going to definitely take the Supercell Slam like a, nothing. As we go for it, it's going to still do a little bit of damage. Nothing too drastic. And then they take the Future Side Attack, which is fantastic, which nearly takes them out of a critical hit. Which is absolutely phenomenal for us. So Gramble being in the position it's in. We just go for another Supercell Slam here. Unless they have Protect, we should be alright. Supercell Slam comes through. Gramble goes down. Future Sight is the GOAT. As there we go, Gramble goes down, which is fantastic. So let's see how this plays out. Deoxys, eh? That's fine. And um, This thing's probably going to go for another Reflect. Because the Reflect wears off soon, I think. Or they'll want to go for a Light Screen. One of the two. Um... I'm leaning towards Cypher again. 
I am going to go hard uh, Cypher because I feel like they go for a light screen here. They clearly a support set, so I'm not expecting them to have Ice Beam. So we'll get Cypher in now. Nice and shiny, got a little bit. They go for a knockoff, getting rid of our Heavy Duty Boost, which is going to do a de decent bit of damage to us as well. Now, do we go for a U-turn? I'd say we go for a U-turn here because they're either going to switch out or they're going to go for a light screen. Ice Beam. Oh, I didn't expect that. We do live, though, because it's not very offensive, uh, offensively powerful. The Oxy Speed isn't. As we're able to take out one clean U-turn. Oh, there's a crit. Oh, my God. There's too many crits this game. Too many crits this game. It's fir first, co first Cody gets paralyzed twice. And then he gets critted twice. That is just unfortunate luck for you there. Just unfortunate for you. I will say. So I'm going to bring Articuno in. Like so. Nice and shiny as well. The black ice Articuno is here. Exert some pressure. And the snow does stop, unfortunately, which means our physical defense is back to normal. But their reflect has worn off, which is good to know. Evelyn comes in. Who's Evelyn? That is the Gudra. The Gudra is here. Um, What do I want to do here? Do I want to go for a Terra Blast? They probably go for an iron defense, right? Maybe I'm better off going into something else. Um... I'm just going to Terra Ground Terra Blast. I think that's the way I want to go about this. Because I feel like they're going to Iron Defense if I switch out. So I want to get as much damage off as possible on them. So what's going Terra Ground here is probably the best thing I can do. There we go. Terra Ground Articuno is here. And we'll go for a Terra Blast just to see how much damage it does. They might go for a Flash Cannon. They might go for a Flamethrower. They might go for a Thunderbolt. They might go for an Iron Defense. There's a lot of things they could do here. And that nearly 2 it KOs them as well, which is amazing. They go for a Dragon Pulse, which is going to bounce off us. Yeah, it does. And then we can just go for another a Terra Blast, which would be fantastic. They withdraw the Gudra. What are they going to go into, though? Slowking? Frostmoth. Frostmoth's a good one. It can definitely take a Hurricane from us, that's for sure. So we go for a Terra Blast, which is fine. It's going to do a bit of chip damage to them. Nothing too drastic. Probably no damage at all, to be fair. Yep, no, no damage whatsoever. Now let's go for a Hurricane. They are going to Terra. What type are they going to Terra into? They're going to go for a Terra Fire, maybe? Ground. Terra Ground. Love to see it. You love to see it. So Terra Ground Frostmoth is here. We go for a Hurricane. We do hit the Hurricane, which is nice. And are we going to Confuse? No, no Confusion. That's nice. So Quiver Dance comes through. This could easily be the end of us. Although Frostmoth is very slow. So let's go for a freeze dry. Freeze dry comes through. We do have speed still, even after the quiver dance, which is great. And that's going to come through. They go for another quiver dance. Um, now they definitely outspeed us, and they definitely KO us with an ice beam. So let's see how this plays out. So they're going to get a speed boost. Let's go for a freeze dry once again. They go for an ice beam. That's going to definitely take out Articuno, unfortunately. Um, so Articuno goes down. They're at plus two special speeds. And that's also off a low speed stat. So we might get away with this potentially with um, Volcanion. So let's go Volcanion now. We'll just fire off a steam eruption straight away. Should do the job. We might not do the job because they're at plus two special defense and they've got, they've got icy scales. Um, so steam eruption comes through. We are actually scarfed, so we're out speeding. There we go, it comes through. We go for a Terra Blast, that's definitely gonna KO us, unfortunately, but we did our, we did the, we did the thing. We got rid of the, uh, a lot of its health, let's just say that. So, Volcano goes down, Frostmoth may actually win this for them. So let's go into our fastest Pokemon, Zeb Striker. Now. We have to outspeed with Zeb Striker here, pretty much. We definitely have to outspeed with Zeb Striker. So let's go for a high horsepower. That's the best thing we can do. We do our speed. Nice. Frostmoth goes down. Zeb Striker putting in the work right now. Which is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So they can't bring Dreadnought in because we need a high horsepower. They have to go into the Sloking now. Dreadnought? Interesting choice. 
Nice and shiny as well, gotta love it. So they might be weakness policy, which is definitely a thing that they could be. Uh, let's go into Great Tusk real quick. And um, they probably go for a shell smash, but I don't want to stay in high horsepower it. I just don't. There's just something about it that's making me not want to do it. So there we go. They go for a shell smash as expected. Boom. Lowering the defenses, but boosting their offenses to sky high levels. There we go. Attack, special attack, and of course, speed. But I'm sure we can take a hit from this thing. I'm pretty confident we can take it. It's, an, it's a wire herb one. That's good to know. Let's go for an earthquake and get some damage off. They go for a liquidation. That's going to do a lot of damage, but it won't KO us because we're defensive AF. They lower our defenses, and then we go for an EQ, which should do a lot of damage to them. KOs with a crit? No crit, just KOs. Awesome. That Dreadnought had no chance. Slow King comes in. Good play. Definitely can do some deal with number to us. So let's go for a knockoff first and foremost. Get rid of that item. Knockoff comes through. They are a Colberberry. Interesting. Interesting. The Colberberry weaken the damage of the knockoff, which is unfortunate. They go for a Scold, taking us cleanly out, which is unfortunate. But you know what? At least they don't have an item now, right? So now we can go Cypher. And we can just go for a U-turn. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. So Cypher comes in. Nice and shiny. Let's go for a U-turn real quick to take this Sloking out. Did we draw the Sloking? Are they going to go into the Gudra, right? Are they Rocky Helmet on the Gudra? It could be. Evelyn's going to come in the Gudra though. Like so. We go for a U-turn. It's going to do a bit of damage. Nothing too drastic. They are Rocky Helmet, which is good to know. Let's see what we can go for here. So I'm going to go into Zeb Striker, I guess, and go for a high horsepower. So we're going to Wild. Like so. And then we'll just go straight for a high horsepower. There's no real reason not to. No real reason not to. High horsepower comes through. Takes out the Gudra in one clean hit, which is nice. And all we have to do now is sack off Cypher, bring in Zeb Striker once again and go for a Supercell Slam. So Slowking comes in. Like so. What a game though. There's been a lot of hacks on my opponent's side, which is unfortunate for them. So um, now we just sack off Cypher. Sack off Cypher. Um, they probably go for a Scold here. They might get paralyzed. To be fair. The way things are looking. Yeah, they got fully paralyzed. Oh my god, you can't write this stuff. You cannot write this stuff. Let's go for a U-turn and get the KO here. Might not be KO, to be fair. Doesn't. Awesome. So, Cypher comes back to us. We just go back into Zeb Striker. They might go for a Scold. If they go for a Scold, we don't care with Supercell Slam, I don't think. We'll bring the Zeb Striker back in anyway. Oh my god, they got... They got fully paralyzed again. This is the most hacks filled battle I've ever had in my life. Supercell Slam comes through though. That's going to KO the Slow King. And that's going to be the game. I'm so sorry, Cody, for all the hacks. That was just I um, I OMG WTF. Just like you've just put in Discord. Like, wow. I can't believe it. But GG anyway. All right. Fauna Bills caught. Well. All right. Fauna Bills brought a pretty cool team. Um, with Deoxy Speed, Landorus, uh, Belly Bolt, Bolt Treads, Grimmsnarl, and Yanma. You gotta love it. That's that's awesome. So if we assume they're gonna lead off with Deoxys Speed, um, we should lead off with a uh, set Cipher, but they have got the Moltres, which is terrifying. We don't want to get burned or anything like that. So let's go ahead and lead off strong with Volcanion. Volcanion does pretty well against the team, so I think leading with Volcanion is gonna be a good 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 shout. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Fauna build. So they're gonna lead off with Grim Snarl. As I let off with Volcanion, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to fire off a, uh, a steam eruption straight away because we know this thing's going to go for a light screen, but we may as well try and get a burn on it because why not? Uh, there's the light screen as expected. We just go straight for the uh, steam eruption, which should still do a nice little chunk. Yeah, nice little chunk. There we go. And we get the burn straight away, which is absolutely amazing. That's what we were after. Burning this thing's going to be great. So now what we can do is we can just switch out. They probably go for a Reflect or a Parting Shot here. I think the latter is more likely. Going to go ahead and switch into Great Tusk. Um, the reason being is because I want to get the Stealth Rocks up. I think Stealth Rocks are going to be important in this game. 
when they've got a Yammer and a Moltres. I know they've probably got heavy duty boost, but you know, it's whatever. They go for a Spirit Break, which is going to bounce right off my uh, Great Tusk because of the burn, which is fantastic. It does get a crit, and that was a crit. That was a crit. It did nothing. Nothing. Not at all. We get a Leftovers Recovery, which recovers most of that back anyway, which is fantastic. And then all we have to do is go for a Stealth Rocks, pretty much. Um, and that's, that's, that's all I'm going to do. They go for a Reflect, which makes a lot of sense. Now, we don't have any Brick Break or Defog on our team. So, Stealth Rocks are here to stay. Uh, screens are here to stay until they run out anyway. Stealth Rocks, on the other hand, are here to stay because they have no way of clearing those. Which is fantastic for us. So, what, what can we do now against this thing? I'm leaning towards... Um, then we go for a Parting Shot here for a start. Probably into the Moltres. So, I'm just going to go for a knockoff, just to try and catch whatever he parting shots into. So, they withdraw Grim Style. What are they going to go into? Moltres? Landorus. Interesting stuff. So, Landorus comes in nice and shiny. Got all of it. They get some Stealth Rock Chip, and then we simply go for a knockoff after the Intimidate. It's not going to do much damage, but it will get rid of a potential Choice Scarf or Band, or Rocky Helmet. Yeah, they are Rocky Helmet, which is good to know. And then there's a Rocky Helmet gone. So now we've got a good good opportunity to get out of here. So that's what I'm going to do. Assuming they're going to go for a Stealth Rock of their own here. I'm going to switch out into Articuno. I think Articuno is a decent one. We've got to remember the screens are up though. So our damage is not going to be very high. So Articuno comes through right now. We get the pressure exerted, which is always nice. They go for a Stealth Rock as expected. Now this tells me they don't have Stone Edge at least. In fact, they don't have any way to hit Articuno at all. Um, because they probably have a U-turn. Let's go for a freeze dry real quick and just get some damage off. They withdraw the Landorus, obviously not wanting to get hit by a four times super effective move even on the light screen. And they go into Moltres, which is great. So Moltres comes in. Nice and shiny as well, gotta love it. We go for a freeze dry, it should do a little bit of damage, nothing too drastic. And we get the freeze on the Moltres, which is crazy good. Crazy good for us. Now they can fall out by going for a flamethrower, I believe. Um, so I'm going to hard switch into Volcanion now. We are going to lose some health from the Stealth Rocks, but it's fine. And we just go for a Steam Eruption, and it should do a lot of damage to the Moltres. So there we go. In comes the Volcanion. The Stones do dig in, unfortunately. And they are Frozen Solid, which is, you know, great for us. Absolutely great for us. The fact that a bird made of fire can be frozen is ridiculous. Let's go for a Steam Eruption. They withdraw the Moltres, which is fine. And now they're going to go into Grimmsnarl once again. Which is also fine, because they're going to get some Stealth Rock Chip. And then we get a nice Steam Eruption off, which should do enough to take them down nearly. Yeah, nearly takes them down, which is fantastic. We can go for another Steam Eruption here, and it will get the job done. The Light Screen does wear off as well, which is great. Will they set up another Light Screen? Let's find out. They go for another Light Screen, so that is going to be up for another 8 turns or so. We simply go for a Steam Eruption now. And down goes the Grim Snarl. So now the Reflect should wear off. Not the next turn. The, not this turn. The next turn. They sent out Yanma. Now it's time to see what this bug's doing on the team. They're not even heavy duty boots. So they take some damage. What are they going to do? Let's go for a Steam Eruption and find out. Nothing by the looks of it. They live on 1 HP and they go for a Hypnosis. Oh my god. As if. As if. Are they going to get a speed boost as well? The team's reflect war off at least. They aren't. That, okay, so that's that's fine. Let's go for another steam eruption. We are fast asleep, of course, but I'm just going to burn through these turns of sleep because I don't think this Yammer can do anything to us. Tailwind. Interesting. So Tailwind's going to help them be faster than us. We go for another steam eruption now. I don't think there's anything they can do to us, right? Screech. Are they set? Wow, this is a really, a really interesting Yamma set, I will say. Interesting is definitely one word for it. We're fast asleep, though. I'm just going to let it do its thing. I'm kind of curious. Another Screech. That's going to lower our defense even further. We should wake up this turn, though. No, we don't. Never mind. We're getting the full, t full sleep turns. Full sleep turns. Let's go for another Steam Eruption. U-turn comes through. It's going to do a nice chunk of damage to us. Nothing too drastic. And uh, they're going to go back. So what are they going to go into to take a Steam Eruption, though? Probably Belly Bolt, right? Moltres comes in. Interesting place. Frozen is solid, but our Steam Eruption will fall out, I believe. So we go for the Steam Eruption. It's going to do a lot of damage to the Moltres. Nearly gets the KO. And it falls them out, which is good for them. 
Tailwind does peter out there, though. Peter out, sorry. And we've still got a choice scarf. So I'm going to fire off another steam eruption here. Boom, Moltres coming through. There we go. And with Moltres out of the way, Cypher can do some stuff as well. I mean, there is still that slanderous with Intimidate, but I'm, I'm, I'm ignoring that for now. They go into Belly Bolt. Now, Belly Bolt, we can't really do much about Belly Bolt. Unfortunately, because it's just too chunky. Too chunky for my liking. So what are we doing instead? I'm leaning towards Zeb Striker. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So we'll go Zeb Striker now. And we'll go for a high horsepower. I think that's the way to go about this. So Wild comes in. Nice and shiny, of course. Got all of it. Stealth Rocks do dig in. But it's fine. Discharge comes through. It's not going to do much damage to us. And obviously it can't... Doing, the live screen's wore off as well, which is great. So let's go for a high horsepower here. High horsepower comes through. Choice banded. It doesn't get the KO on the belly bolt, unfortunately, but it does activate their electromorphosis. And then they go for a soak. Interesting choice. Let's go for another high horsepower real quick. High horsepower comes through. Down goes the belly bolt, which is fantastic. Um, now, though, now that the Belly Bolt's taken care of, I think Volcanion does handle the rest of the team. Landorus comes in because the, the Amber can't switch in now because of the Stealth Rocks. So all we need to do right now is let the Zeb Striker go down to an Earthquake. Pretty much. So let's go for a high horsepower again. Obviously, it's going to fail. We're going to let it go down as they go for a U-turn, which isn't going to do the job. So Landorus goes back. Now they have to go into Deoxys, right? Yeah, Deoxys comes in. What's Deoxys going to do to us? We get the Stealth Rocks breaking a potential Sash, which is nice. They exert some pressure. We go for a high horsepower again. Nightshade, that's fine. That's going to KO us, but it's fine. It's fine. We go into Volcanion now. Wait, does Volcanion Choice Scarf outspeed Deoxys Speed? Let's go into Articuno. I think Articuno can definitely take a hit or two. So we'll go Articuno real quick. We'll exert some pressure. And just because they might go for a... I don't know what they're going to go for, to be fair. Just go for a Freeze Dry. They do withdraw the Deoxys, which is fine. And they're going to go directly into Landorus, which is interesting. So Landorus comes through. We go for a Freeze Dry on the Landorus. They get the Intimidate off, which doesn't matter. And we go for the Freeze Dry. That's going to take out the Landorus, no problem. There we go. So Landorus goes down, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And Deoxys comes in. So Deoxys is, in, in again, it's going to get some Stealth Rock Chip. I'm guessing their choice, if they switched out like that. If I had to guess, I'd say the, 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 the definitely um, choice. So let's go for a Terror Ground Terror Blast real quick. That should do more damage than Freeze Dry, and it should get the KO here. Should. Big should. Boom. Articuno comes through. With the Terror Ground Terror Blast. Let's see if it one shots this Deoxys Speed. They go for a Psycho Boost. That's going to sting a little bit. We avoided the attack. Oh dear. That would have lowered. Oh. That's actually better for them though. Because now they're not going to get that defense drop. No, no. They only get a special attack drop, don't they? Yeah, so that's fine. So let's go for a Freeze Dry to finish the job. They go for another Psycho Boost. That's going to definitely do a lot of damage to us. Oh, wow. The miss mattered big time then. The miss mattered big time. Freeze Dry comes through and that's going to KO the Deoxys. As that is going to be the game. So, G-G-E. Phonable. That's, that, that's a pretty fun one. I, I did enjoy that. That was a really interesting game. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video. Feel free to use the team by using the rental code on screen now. And with that being said, I'll catch you all in the next battle.